Now let's study the third application of uniform circular motion that is angle of banking. So what is angle of banking and why it is necessary? Angle of banking means the outer edge of the road is inclined over the inner edge through certain angle along the curve. Now here you can see this is the horizontal surface and this is the outer edge of the road which is inclined over the inner edge of the road through angle theta. So this angle theta is called as angle of banking and this arrangement is made only along the curve. And the process of raising the outer edge of the road over the inner edge of the road along the curve by certain angle it's called banking of roads why it is necessary it means why angle of banking is necessary in the first application of uniform circular motion we have studied the motion of a vehicle along curve horizontal road in that case we have considered this is a curved road and a vehicle need to travel along this curved road now in this case at each point the vehicle tends to move in a tangential path but the vehicle continuously goes on changing its direction and for which the maximum safety speed derivation which we derived that is v max is equal to under root mu s into r g as this equation gives the maximum safety speed of a vehicle to travel along a curved horizontal road which totally depends on coefficient of friction between the road and the tire, radius of the curved road and acceleration due to gravity. And if vehicle exceeds this speed limit, then vehicle will be in danger to thrown out of the road. It means in order to take a turn along the curved horizontal road, the centripetal force is required and the required centripetal force is provided by the force of friction between the road and the tire. Now in this equation as we can see R which is the radius of the curved road this is the constant physical quantity G acceleration due to gravity which is again a phys constant physical quantity mu s which is the coefficient of static friction which will exist in between the road and the tire. Now this mu s that is coefficient of static friction is a non-reliable physical quantity because as the physical conditions are going to be changed the value of this mu s will also going to be changed which is indirectly going to affect our maximum velocity maximum safety speed of a vehicle in this equation if you want to increase the maximum safety speed then the only one physical quantity which we can change is the mu s now if we increase if you want to increase the coefficient of static friction that is mu s then we need to make the road surface more rough if we make road surface more rough then wear and tear of the tire will be more as well as the coefficient of static friction is going to be changed as the physical conditions are changing it means just imagine if the oil is spilling on the road then the magnitude of this coefficient of static friction will decrease or even in rainy season the value of this coefficient of static friction will also decrease it means as far as possible we should not depend on this physical quantity so for this purpose angle of banking is the only solution in which what we are going to do the outer edge of the road is going to be inclined over the inner edge through certain angle only along the curve this is called as angle of banking now as shown in this figure we are going to consider the vertical section of a vehicle on a curved bank road which is moving with a velocity v. Now here you can see this is a vehicle which is moving with velocity v on this curved bank road and this road is banked at an angle theta. Now here as we have considered m is the mass of this vehicle, r is the radius of this curved road, theta is the angle of banking and v is the velocity of this vehicle. Now in this case the number of forces acting on this vehicle is number one its weight mg which is going to be acting vertically downward this is weight mg which is acting vertically downward from this center of mass normal reaction n normal reaction n between the road and the vehicle and is perpendicular to the road surface now this normal reaction n we can resolve it into two components vertical component 
this is the vertical component this is angle theta over here so this is the vertical component this is n cos theta and this is the horizontal component this is n sin theta so this n normal reaction between the road and the vehicle which is perpendicular to the road surface can be resolved into two components vertical component n cos theta and horizontal component n sin theta from this diagram we can clearly see that the component n cos theta is balanced by its weight mg so we can write therefore the component n cos theta is balanced by the weight of this vehicle that is nothing but mg we will write this equation as equation number one whereas if you look at this horizontal component of n which is n sin theta it is directed towards the center of the circular road and it is going to be provide the necessary centripetal force therefore we can write this as n sin theta is equal to centripetal force we can write m v square upon r consider this as equation number two now we are going to divide equation 2 with equation 1 so therefore we are going to get this is nothing but n sin theta upon n cos theta is equal to m v square upon r divided by mg so this n will get cancelled with this m this m will get cancelled with this m and sin theta upon cos theta we are going to get tan theta so we can write tan theta is equal to v square upon rg therefore here we are going to get v is equal to under root rg tan theta this is the equation which gives us the safety speed of a vehicle along curve bank road here in this equation we can see that this is the safety speed of a vehicle which is depending on number one r radius of the curved road number two acceleration due to gravity number three angle of banking tangent of the angle of banking and from this equation we can see that the most safety speed of a vehicle on a bank road it is independent of mass of the vehicle as the physical quantity m which indicates mass of the vehicle is absent in this equation so this equation of maximum safety speed of a vehicle on banked road is independent of mass of the vehicle if we rearrange the term in this equation then we are going to get theta is equal to tan inverse of v square upon rg this is the equation which gives us the angle of banking so theta which is the angle of banking is equal to tan inverse of v square which is nothing but the speed of a vehicle r which is nothing but radius of the curved road and g acceleration due to gravity so this equation gives me the equation for angle of banking of a road As shown in this video, consider a vehicle of mass m moving with speed v along a curved bank road. Now here you can see the vertical section of a road in which the outer edge of the road is inclined over the inner edge through angle theta. Number of forces acting on the vehicle is normal reaction n between the road and the vehicle. Now this normal reaction n can be resolved into two components, horizontal component n sin theta which is directed along the radius toward the center of the curved path which is acting like a centripetal force so we can write n sin theta is equal to m v square upon r and the vertical component n cos theta which is balanced by the weight of the car that is mg so we can write n cos theta is equal to mg now taking ratio of these two equations we are going to get tan theta is equal to v square by rg Therefore, v square is equal to rg tan theta. Therefore, the most safe speed v is equal to root rg tan theta.